hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about who has you on their mind so who has you on their mind okay so pile number one you're going to be the pink rose so the pink rose sticker pile number two you're going to be the yellow rose sticker and pile number three you're going to be the red rose sticker okay again pile number one pink rose sticker pile number two yellow rose sticker and pile number three red rose sticker so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the rose color that you feel most drawn to you'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and i'll see you guys at your pile hi pal one welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number one you picked the pink rose and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, who has you on their mind? Who has you on their mind? Who has you on their mind, my pal number one? So what do we have here for you, pal number one? We have Cancer Immerse. This person could be a Cancer or you could be a Cancer here. Um, this person could be a homebody. I'm getting like this is somebody who uh, values uh, family. I don't know why I just heard integrity. Who has you on their mind? My pal number one. Ooh, we have the Knight of pentacles this is somebody who is slow to make a move they are meticulous in their approach this is somebody who is cautious yeah, i'm definitely getting family oriented who has you on their mind Ooh, two cups okay this is somebody that could be in a relationship with you like you guys are together or it could just be somebody who wants to have a relationship with you who wants to be together with you so for some of you it could be your current partner somebody that you're dating or somebody who wants to date you yeah we have the queen of cups so definitely cancer or just water energy this this person is definitely in touch with their emotions okay with the queen of cups they're very nurturing very caring who has you on their mind we have the six of pentacles this person could be extremely generous with their time with their resources i'm giving like this person could be shy at times or just reserved i'm getting like a reserved nature either shy or reserved who has you on their mind just one card who has you on their mind who has you on their mind yeah this person may have like anxiety when they think about you they could be nervous in your presence when you guys are together or when you guys are alone if you've ever been alone with this person there's an air of nervousness with the eight of swords who has you on their mind yeah this person wants to come towards you to offer you a cup of love and we have the six of cups this person feels like you guys have a connection or it could be somebody from your past we have the high priestess this is cancer energy so this person is highly intuitive they could feel um the energy shift in your room this is somebody i feel like this could be somebody from your past that has you on their mind maybe they never got the chance to express their feelings for you 
they never got the chance to tell you how much they care about you they kept it on their wrap i feel like this person just acts nervous in your in your presence or you may not see that they're nervous but there is an air like you know it's just not awkward but it's just more like you could feel that there is something going on but this person's not expressing it with their actions or with their words but they have a lot of feelings for you they could be younger than you because i just saw the knight um not the knight sorry the page of wands so who has you on their mind who has you on their mind who has you on their mind we have the five of wands who there could be a conflict of interest here with this person maybe that's the reason why they, they haven't made a move who has you on their mind my pal yeah we have the hermit that's why i was getting like a reserved energy this person could be a uh, really good like um they have a very strict diet or they have dietary issues or like you know maybe be gluten free or something like that they have to eat gluten free products there's something to do with their diet they may have like a, a really like uh, there may, could be a picky eater this person could be a picky eater or like they have a something with their stomach you know like they have issues with their stomach i don't know why i'm getting that so who has you on their mind who has you on their mind who has you on their mind my pal yeah we have the emperor so this person could definitely be a boss a leader a ceo they could have their own business um this is somebody who is definitely in a leadership position or wants to be we have the magician this person is extremely skilled and talented at what they do i feel like they could be a great communicator but there is some sort of report or relationship between you and this person it's not a stranger that has you on their mind it's not somebody who just saw you on you know youtube or instagram or something and they, they keep thinking about you or wondering what it would be like to talk to you this person actually knows you this person has some sort of connection with you it could be like a childhood friend or it could be a childhood acquaintance like you know you guys went to college together went to high school together but you guys were never really tight or you were never really close because i'm mean, like there's not a closeness but there is definitely feelings involved with the a the ace of cups with this person like they have love for you they admire you as well i'm getting like they put you they they place you in high regards but there's definitely conflict of interest with the five of wands so who has you on their mind who has you on their mind my pal number one Ooh. okay so we have the empress so this person feels like you guys are divine counterparts that's why i'm getting like they put you in the high regard we have the ten of pentacles this person could be financially stable they could be abundant we have the two of wands I feel like this person wants to come towards you they want to express how they feel about you because they're keeping it on the wrap with the high priestess you don't know that this person has feelings for you you may think that this person just you know acts shy or reserved around you but there's a reason for it they're nervous in your presence yeah we have the knight uh, the page of pentacles that's what was getting like it's a friend childhood friend or somebody that you friends owned I feel like you may have friends on this person seven of pentacles you may know them for seven years but i feel like there's a long standing like a long time that you know this person i feel like they have been patiently waiting for the right moment to approach you i feel like this person may know somebody that uh, you may not be like it's not that you're not fond of this person but there is like um like I said, a conflict of interest with the Five of Wands. There's some sort of, um, yeah, Ace of Swords, the truth. There is either somebody or something that is stopping you from like, not you, but stopping this person from coming towards you because of like that. There's like some sort of interference with the Five of Wands. I'm really getting that. That's why this person has never um had the chance to come to you and tell you exactly how they feel about you because i feel like this person has been holding back their feelings for a long time 
and you just don't know because we have the high priestess you have no idea that this person actually feels this way towards you because they don't show it they don't talk about it they just quiet and they quietly observe you from afar this is what i'm getting from this person who has you on their mind guys i can't make it up five of wands again i'm telling you there is definitely a conflict of interest and we have justice here this person wants to do the right thing for some of you it this person may know a family member or it could be a family friend like somebody like maybe you grew up with this person so you never looked at him at more than a friend like it can either be like your cousin's friend your brother's friends your sister's friend like or like, yeah there's like something or like you know like six degrees of separation like they know somebody that knows you but that person that they know could be like a challenge if you guys were to get together or if this person were to you know take a step forward and actually pursue you romantically it could create some sort of issue that's why we have the justice here this person's not trying to do that they're they don't want to rock the boat they don't want to do something that's going to affect either their connection with somebody that you know or the connection that they already have with you okay so pal number one who has you on their mind who has we have the magician yeah this person is a highly skilled and talented i feel like they're really good with their hands so they could fix stuff i heard mechanic maybe this person has their own garage they're a mechanic they're maybe the family mechanic they your parents go to them and you know their father owns the mechanic the you know the shop and they work there and it's being passed down to them so they know your face they know you but uh, yeah it's like some sort of like business transaction or family transaction that is kind of like stopping this person from coming towards you because obviously um they don't want to make it awkward for you or your family if they come towards you yeah they feel like it's a burden with the ten of wands because this person really has feelings for you and they can't stop themselves from thinking about you and we have the chariot this is why i was getting like car vehicle with mechanics so this person could be a mechanic you may have brought your car to them and they fixed it or they like they're your family like your family knows this person or knows their family and it's like strictly business or something maybe they get invited for the holidays or you know the family just you know give each other gifts and stuff like that so or refer other people to them there's some sort of like transaction here yeah we have the emperor you see in the ten of cups i'm telling you family ten of cups is about family and we have the emperor i'm getting like a family business and this person like father or mother knows your parents and this is how you know this person as well it's like you know it's so-and-so's son so-and-so's daughter so like you know of this person you know who they are so it's like you never looked at them more than a family friend or like yo, oh, oh yeah my dad knows his dad that's how we know each other so it's like strictly on a superficial level you never um explore anything with this person but this person has you on their mind constantly thinking about you yeah, they see you as wish fulfillment with the nine of cups but you see we have the temperance card this person plays it cool when they are in your presence they act like um you know everything's okay and they don't have no feelings for you but we have the wheel of fortune they're hoping like a change in destiny or that you would look at them in a different way the same way that they look at you because they know that you don't feel the same and that you don't look at them in a romantic way because you never um give them a hint that you like them like that and you see we have the ten of pentacles again i'm telling you they have like some sort of family business or inheritance i heard taxes maybe they they are your like your their father is your dad's accountant or something like they do something with like a family business and they are either taken over or have already taken over so if they have already taken over they are in interaction with your father all the time and it's like that's why this person is like no i can't do that because it may mess up my family name my business i can't just you know go after my you know urges because i like this person or i have feelings for them i have to compose myself with the temperance card this is what i'm getting here this person is has a lot of integrity guys i can't make it up ace of cups this person has a lot of feelings for you undeniable feelings for you who has you on their mind 
Yeah, but this person makes good judgment. They're wise. This person is extremely wise. We have the Hermit and the Temperance card. They know that if they come towards you, yeah, they're being logical about it, but they can't stop thinking about you. Even though they know that they can't come towards you in a romantic way, it doesn't stop them from having, you know, thoughts of you or wondering what it would be like to be in a connection with you. If there was no interference, if there was no obstacles, this person would definitely take a chance, okay, on you. So we're going to be using the initials just to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be. So who has you on their mind? Who has you on their mind? Who has you on their mind? Pile number one, we have C, O, J, triple Z, L, R, U, B, Z, F, D, S, R, B, S, T, A, L, D, F, X, Y, B, I, H, I, M, F, E, H, um, F, C, U, F, X, T, C, U, N, C, T, P, double A, S, F, J, D, V, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the yellow rose. And this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings okay so my pile number two who has you on their mind who has you on their mind, my pal number two? So what do we have here? We have third house communication. This person could be a Gemini or you could be the Gemini here. I'm getting like this person um, wants to talk to you. They want to send you a DM. Some of you, this person has already sent them, <laughs> sent you a DM, <laughs> but I'm getting you left them on red. <laughs> Oh my God, pal number two. Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> okay, so who has you on their mind? Who has you on their mind, my pal number two? Ooh, I'm telling you, you bruised this person's ego. You left them on red. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this person sends you a message or they're about to send you a message and if they haven't sent you the message yet they are afraid that you might leave them on red and if they have already you left this person on red okay i'm getting that vibe we have the king of cups um this person is extremely emotionally intelligent with the king of cups so let's see Ooh, we have libra energy with justice maybe this person could work in a legal field or they just have integrity they do what's right. They're well-balanced individual. Who has you on their mind, my pal? Ooh. We have the queen and the king of cups. So this person feels like you guys are a perfect match with the queen and the king of cups. Who has you on their mind? We have the knight of wands. So this person may get a lot of attention. Um, they may be like adventurous, okay? Oh, I don't know why I just heard that they could be 
oh i don't think i should say it okay guys i'm just gonna skip that part <laughs> i'm not gonna say it but this person is adventurous they're a go-getter this is why i was getting like they already sent you a message or they're about to send you a message they're they're gonna shoot their shot they want to communicate with you definitely okay but i'm getting like this person you know they're scared that you may reject them because they definitely see you as the prize guys i can't make it up three of swords uh, some of you have already rejected this person you put them on red and you're like nope i'm not interested like yeah this person can't stop thinking about you who has you on their mind i'm telling you online that's what i was getting like online they send you a message page of swords this person's watching you uh, watching you on social media this person has already communicated with you or is about to communicate with you with the page of swords definitely online okay this person's definitely have their eyes on you not only are they thinking about you they have their eyes on you this person could be financially stable with the king of pentacles they are abundant i feel like this person likes to give gifts they like to wine and dine at fancy restaurant um they definitely have um, some sort of business or side hustle that they're doing with the King of Pentacles. They're very family oriented as well. Yeah, they're contemplating with the Three of Wands on how they're going to come towards you or how they're going to approach you or how they're going to initiate this conversation with you. Because I feel like um, this person does not really like to be rejected. I feel like rejection for them is like um, it does affect their self-esteem and their ego okay i'm getting that vibe from this person but they're contemplating on how they're going to come towards you with some form of communication if they haven't already yeah we have the empress this person could be artistic uh extremely creative we have taurus energy and libra we have libra twice so this person could have libra in their chart um they're definitely um like great lover i'm getting great vibe from this person so who has you on their mind? Who has you on their mind? My pal number. Oh, you see, this is what I was getting like. You may have like friends on this person not responding to their DM with the page of pentacles. Yeah, like they they did come towards you with an offer or some of you, they're about to come with a small offer, a gesture. They're going to offer you to do something very light casual maybe go out for you know a coffee or like um like a walk in the park to get to know each other better but this is the vibe i'm getting from this person they are definitely adventurous but there's still a cautious side to them like they take calculated risk this is not somebody who lives um on the edge they're not impulsive even though the night of wands is here but they're calculated they don't just jump without seeing like the pros and cons of their actions okay so who has you on their mind who has you on their mind it's just one card i just saw the four of cups i wanted to come out we have the ace of pentacles this person wants to come in with a solid offer they want to date you this person's not just thinking about you and then you know lusting after you see ace of swords at the bottom of the deck they want to date you this person wants to you know get to know you on a personal level and do um activities with you they want to plan things out with you they're not just talk they're actually action oriented too that's why we have the knight of wands so who has you on their mind they're very attracted to you because i just saw the ace of wands i wanted to come out who has you on their mind yeah this person is grounded with the four of pentacles they could be a little bit um jealous or possessive with the four of pentacles i'm getting yeah we have the sun here this person gets a lot of attention they could be in the spotlight or they could be an influencer okay they may have like a youtube channel so who has you on their mind who has you on their mind, my pal? Wow, guys, I can't make it up. The page of swords again. They're watching you online and they have feelings for you or they're developing some sort of feelings for you, okay? 
yeah this person is going to message you what the empress again okay so definitely with the empress coming out twice this person sees you as extremely beautiful um talented creative this person could be like if you are a youtuber this person could be in a similar niche as you or like very close so let's say if you do like workout videos you are a fitness instructor this person is a fitness instructor as well if you do like um money type of video a a money management video this person does the same thing too if you are a relationship coach this person could be a relationship coach too so you guys kind of like mirror each other when it comes to your skills and talents like you guys do similar things um i'm getting like this person really likes what you bring to the table they like your style they like your swag this person really yeah i just saw the devil this person could be very sexually attracted to you too so who has you on their mind yeah they are they are a guru they are a master at their craft they could be well known um in their community as well with the the hair font we have taurus energy and libra and we have libra and taurus like three times because we have the empress twice and we have the signs individually so who has you on their mind you make this person nervous we have the nine of cups they see you as wish fulfillment this is why this person's watching you and they want to come towards you they feel like you guys match in every sense of the way like not just um your looks but also like your career your drive your determination they really like that about you like the fact that you're a go-getter that you have a lot of things going on for yourselves for yourselves for yourself this person really likes that yeah it's six of wands this person is victorious they may have like uh, like i said multiple businesses or they have a large platform and they're doing well for themselves and you are also doing well for yourself and this person really likes that this is the one thing that attracted them to you not just your looks but your your determination to get things done you have like your life in order this person likes that so who has you on their mind we have the death card scorpio energy so this person may have gone through some sort of transformation within their life. So who has you on their mind? Yeah, Ace of Swords, the truth. Yeah, this person definitely wants to speak some sort of truth to you with the Ace of Swords. They may have commented on your profile multiple times, under your videos, under um, like, yeah, your videos or they're a fan. That's all I got to say. This person is a fan of what you do. If you have a platform, this person definitely watches you all the time. Okay. And they like all the stuff that you post, whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, um, TikTok, Twitter. This person is like one of your first people that likes your, your stuff that you post, your content. Okay. So who has you on their mind? Yeah, I see we have the Queen of Cups again very nurturing loving energy who has you on their mind we have the knight of pentacles so this person is like taking their time contemplating how they're going to come towards you this is somebody who is loyal somebody who is meticulous they could be a perfectionist as well we do have taurus energy yeah we have the king of pentacles and we do have the king of pentacles already this person has their own business they're doing well for themselves so i feel like now this person may be ready for a relationship so who has who has you on their mind yeah we have the hermit that's why i was getting a fit, fitness instructor with the hermit card this is somebody who takes really good care of their health they be i feel like they're physically fit as well they may spend a lot of their time alone or with their family yeah but i'm getting like they spend a lot of their time alone like studying or improving themselves or like just creating content this person may create a lot of content too just like you who has you on their mind okay the lovers gemini energy this person sees you as a lover and it makes sense because we do have the queen and the king of cups who has you on their mind my pal number two who has you on their mind? We have the three of pentacles. For some of you, you may work with this person or may collaborate with them. 
it may not be somebody at your job but somebody that you have some sort this is what I was gonna like some sort of um like you have a platform and this person does similar thing like you guys are in a similar niche we have the ace of wands so definitely some sort of creative project that you may work with this person they may have reached out to you for um for collaborative efforts to work together with the three of pentacles but this person is a great team player as well but i feel like some of you may not um be working with this person but they want to work with you they're thinking about doing that and then maybe turning it into something more personal yeah we have the nine of pentacles this person is um self-employed and they are single and abundant this is why i was getting like the king of pentacles they're doing well for themselves they may live a life of luxury they may have even expensive taste yeah i feel like this person like they've built their platform their successes were on their own nobody helped them and it took them a long time and they're very proud of it we have the ace of pentacles i feel like this person wants to come in because we have the ace of pentacles already with an offer and their offer is solid and is, uh, is trustworthy is going to last the test of time and this person wants in for the long haul there's not just some shallow thing that they're trying to do with you okay so we'll be using the initials just to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so who has you on their mind my pal number two who has you on their mind Who has you on their mind, my pal number two? Who has you on their mind, pal number two? We have C, Z, W, Q, H, K, K, double X, N, U, U, G K R J D M N A J B S Q B F T um X J A N B G F S Y F U O E triple U Oh, sorry, what am I saying? Triple O, I'm saying triple U. Triple O, D, V, Z, I, D, T, G, G, S, R. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye! Hi Pal3, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the red rose and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, who has you on their mind? Who has you on their mind? Pal number three, who has you on their mind? What do we have here? We have fifth house, passion. This person could be a Leo. I'm getting this person's extremely passionate about you. They want to be in an intimate relationship with you, I'm getting. Um, I'm feeling, I feel like this person could be um, in one of your classes. I'm just getting yoga class. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. They have feelings for you. It's like uh, passionate feelings for you. Who has you on their mind? Who has you on their mind, my pal number three? Who has you on their mind? I just saw the seven of pentacles this person is extremely patient who has you on their mind 
who has you on their mind we have the six of swords that came out we have leo energy with the strength card so it definitely could be a leo here okay this person has integrity um they could be at a distance from you with the six of swords but i feel like they just have like a laid back chill type of vibe to them who has you on their mind who has you on their mind who has you on their mind Ooh, we have the six of wands this person could be in the spotlight they're extremely successful in their their endeavors they could be um con i don't know why i got content creator or they do something artistic with the fifth house okay with passion um they could be a makeup artist i'm getting like fashionista as well they can make their own clothes okay with the six of wands this person is definitely successful they are sought after for their services um, or their products if they sell products we have the temperance here um this is sagittarius energy this person is um well balanced individual they're calm cool and collective collected holy moly this person has like yeah they may travel a lot with this eight of wands yeah maybe for business they're always on the go i feel like they're self-employed as well who has you on their mind who has you on their mind my pal number three who has you on their mind yeah king of pentacles this person is abundant okay they're extremely um like grounded with the king of pentacles i'm getting as well they could have um i don't know why i'm getting virgo they could have virgo in their chart this is somebody who's meticulous who pays attention to every little detail so who has you on their mind yeah this person's abundant they have like they're affluent they have a lot of money or they're really good with money they could be an investor as well they do something online they're passionate about what they do okay this is not somebody who just lives for the moment or just go through the motion but have no um life no zest no yeah like they're extremely passionate when they do something or when they pursue something or pursue someone they put all of their love effort into it this is somebody who is extremely vibrant they have they may come off as reserved or grounded or like just um you know just uh, introvert when you initially met this meet this person but once you get to know them you see that they have a vibrant personality they're vivid they're just cautious okay with the king of pentacles with who they allow in the world we have um this is the herm not the hermit sorry i keep saying hermit because i'm getting virgo energy but this is the hierophant so taurus energy this person could be extremely traditional or they're following their tradition i feel like maybe their passion is rooted through their tradition so what they're doing right now is something traditional to their country or maybe they're following their parents footsteps so maybe their dad or their mom was a, uh, an artist so they became an artist or you know the videographer and they became a videographer i feel like they come from a, a legacy of artists okay their family artistic people yeah it's a swords guys as i said that that's the truth great communicator as well who has you on their mind yeah you see that's always getting like this person self-employed living a life of luxury they are extremely abundant they have some sort of inheritance with the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles this person like i said virgo energy nine of pentacles is virgo energy they they have exquisite taste expensive taste they dress really well they like the finer things in life and they can't afford it okay this is somebody who could afford their lifestyle they're not uh, fronting or flexing for the gram and it says 10 10 on my clock so you may see 10 10 often yeah we have the two of cups this person may want to be in a relationship with you but i'm not getting made they want to because we have the ace of cups yeah we have the knight of pentacles this is somebody who's prudent who's cautious i did say that this person has a cautious energy to them but they're reliable and trustworthy they always come through when they say something they actually back it up with their actions you could trust their word okay they're a woman of their word or a man of their word so who has you on their mind 
we have the death card scorpio energy this person is extremely very magnetic like i said they're passionate whatever they do they put all of their energy into it who has you on their mind who has you on their mind my pal number three who has you on their mind guys didn't i say virgo the hermit this person likes to spend a lot of their time alone they're extremely wise and we have the strength card leo energy again we have the strength twice if we have fifth house this person could have leo, leo in their chart at the bottom of the deck the hero font again like i said this person has earth placement earth and fire heavy so they have that grounded energy they know how to transmute transmute that fire that passion is directed in the right path they're very grounded even though they are that have like i said they have that passion fire in them you're not going to see it unless they want to show it to you this is not somebody who's impulsive they know how to contain themselves they know how to ground themselves so you can never really tell what this person's thinking what they're feeling they don't weigh their heart on their sleeves they're extremely observant as well who has who has you on their mind we have the eight of pentacles this person is extremely talented they're dedicated they're a hard worker and they are perfectionists who has you on their mind my pal number my pal number three who has you on their mind guys they want a relationship with you with the two cups i'm telling you they want this relationship with you this person wants to come forward and express their feelings and they're going to do it in a passionate way you're going to know like this person wants you there's not going to be a doubt about it who has you on their mind who has you on their mind they will make a romantic gesture towards you who has you on their mind yeah they see you as wish fulfillment with a nine of cups wow we have the empress okay libra taurus energy this person is extremely creative with the empress they know how to manifest um their life into existence whatever they speak they manifest it because i'm getting like nine of pentacles they did it on their own they definitely have a legacy but it's like yes they had the legacy but they still put in the effort okay so who has you on their mind yeah i'm telling you this person's dedicated they have strong will chariot energy cancer dedication discipline so who has you on their mind who has you on their on their mind my pal number three but you guys definitely share similar interests okay who has you on their mind yeah we have the king of cups this person is very loving emotionally um intelligent as well oh you may be friends with this person or they may know a friend of yours with the three of cups yeah you know this person like i said you guys share mutual interests mutual passion that's why i said yoga class at the beginning of the reading three of cups is like joyful energy celebration good news friendship i feel like you're this person may not be your your best friend or something but they are around your friend circle yeah ace of pentacles this person is extremely abundant they may even own the yoga studio i'm getting for some of you they may have opened their yoga studio. oh they could be your yoga instructor pile number three you got it like that oh ace of swords guys <laughs> oh my god the yoga instructor got a thing for you my god we have the queen and the king of cups guys oh gosh and they have the lovers okay pile number three this is how you got it okay for some of you it's the, the instructor that has a thing for you i can't stop thinking about you yeah you may not know it because you know obviously in the you know in the settings they can't be all upon you when you guys are doing the yoga like they can't do that it's not professional but this person knows like you know they're the owner or something like that or they're the instructor i'm getting for some of you it may resonate not for all of you but i'm getting that vibe okay 
so who has you on their mind who has you on their mind my pal yeah you see the nine of pentacles i'm telling you this person is single living a life of luxury they are abundant they are the eligible bachelor or bachelorette they're self-employed or a business owner this is what i was getting like either they are the instructor because the instructor is somebody who's self-employed they could go to multiple studios they don't have to stay at one place they don't work for anyone they work for themselves so this is what i'm getting here with the nine of pentacles or if it's not like you know if yoga instructor it could be a fitness instructor it could be any type of instructor somebody who is uh, working on their own and they don't have like any overheads okay this is what i'm getting here this person is abundant nine of pentacles they're extremely passionate yeah you see i'm telling you we have the sun leo energy we have the leo energy four times they're extremely passionate about what they do and we have the hero font and they could definitely be a master at their craft the one one of the best to maybe the one one of the best in your city or this person may travel from different cities and they come to your city often okay you may live in a major city and this person may come there often and uh do their courses there okay i feel like this is how you probably met this person oh my god i'm like having a shortness of breath so this is what i was gonna like work out guys i feel like it's like a workout class something movement where you're like running out of breath after the class is done because i was just out of breath for like two seconds okay so we'll be using the initials just to get a little bit of confirmation of who this person could be so my pal number three who has um you on their mind who has you on their mind who has you on their mind my pal number three who has you on their mind pal number three what do we have here we have a oh well sorry x <laughs> i was looking at a and i said x um m c oh my god guys i'm so sorry o a y double n c q d c u b f s t a i e i c b w s f a q j v r n x x double a x again r o m um u a k j c f j x p z j c b okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three Bye.